Hey guys, it's me Z Scratcher, and in today's video, I'll be playing a Minecraft map called Shulker Wars with my friends on the Minecraft server I created. If you want to know how to play this map for yourself on Java Edition, I'll have a map download link in the description. And also, before you ask, no, I didn't pay for any server hosting website like Apex or any of them. I just created one using Java files. If you want to learn how to do that, I'll put a video link for one of the videos I used. Anyway, let's get on with the video, shall we? Alright. So here we started, but before I actually continue with the video, I have a couple of things to say. Like first off, the people I'm playing with are my friend Cyberscope, who you'll definitely know since he has 100 subscribers now, another of my friends named Jay, another one named Bosh Boyal, who if you google him or check his YouTube who has no videos, he's also another of my friends, and another person named Yusuf. Who, who's called Max in this because he forgot to change his name. Anyway, the, th th the second thing is that there's a secret that my friends don't know. You see, I'm the operator of the surfer and they didn't know I made myself operator because obviously I created the server. So I'm the I gave myself an unfair advantage because you see, this is not the first time I'm playing with these guys. I played multiple games before and I actually lost multiple times. So obviously, since I want good content, I decided to cheat and try to win. You'll get to see what happens if you continue watching the video. Alright, so the game, it started like any of your usual kind of Bed Wars game or Shulker Wars game to be more specific. You know, just camping the generator, getting some blocks and weapons. Building a, def a building a horrible defense for your bed or slash shulker, you know the usual. But you see, I got lazy, so I decided to get the best defenses early game. Yeah, I'm definitely cheating at this point. Although this would be useful because I was able to build up to the ruby generator, which later I'll be able to get some better armor and some better s weapons. I could say you could say that everything was pretty decent. All was safe until this happened. The first PvP battle of the game. He must have camped the generator whilst he was waiting for me. But luckily, without any PvP hacks, I defeated my foe. Unfortunately, I didn't go up for the rubies because I forgot and another reason was that I didn't want him to go come back at me Which he was obviously gonna do so I went back and made this horrible defensive structure But once again, we got him lucky Cyberscope got killed and the worst part was he was the only one with the bow. This is a major loss. I wouldn't be able to make nice snipes for, to ward away our enemies. This made me angry, so I went to go get some rubies to avenge this mistake. But once again, Marsh Boyel came back. came back from successful procedure and I decided to defend with endstone so that we could slow down the attackers because we had a previous casualty that could have been missed but I decided to defend us even more we thought we were doing good until this happened They came back for revenge, and they brought a full arsenal with them. 
this is not good. So I immediately gave myself some illegal rubies so that we could protect ourselves. Unfortunately, Karma decided to strike. The end was near. Our shell could got destroyed. And we both knew that this was the end of our run. Alright, so we lost one match to my friends, and that was a 3v2, well actually technically that was a 2v2 because Yusuf wasn't actually even playing, but we still lost, and that's the point. So this next one, I'm going to see if I can use a different strategy to increase our chance of winning. So the game started, and I remembered that there was this feature, well I, I don't know, it's like I'm calling it a feature because it's possible. Where we will be able to move the shulker. Knowing this, we take it to our advantage. And after some grinding, I covered the shulker in obsidian. I remember in a Wally Bear video that somebody tried to fake their location of a bed. So that's what I tried to do in this video. This in this game to be more specific. Marsh Royale came out for like the third time now. I don't know. He keeps doing it. Anyway, I decided to kill him, but I failed. So I tried to get an axe because I, if I do remember correctly, this is 1.18. You know, not 1.8. So this that means axes should technically do more damage. So that's what I bought one, but then I still died anyways. I don't know, do they do the same amount of damage as they normally do, or am I just bad at the game? I don't know, we'll never know. After that inconvenient death, I decided to get some actually decent stuff. But that's when Marshbyal tried sniping us. Being the god tier gamer I am, I just placed like 4 blocks, and then you couldn't snipe me anymore. That's literally all I had to do. But the fact that he was sniping me got me angry. So I went in for the kill. And to be honest, I think I was successful. I had successfully gotten myself 7 souls, which I would then use for magic effects because I knew they were coming back for revenge. So that's why I decided to build this DEFENSIVE GLASS DOME. I'm probably glad to voices. I wonder what this sounds like when I'm editing.
Anyways, back to what I was actually talking about. So, five minutes later, Marsh Boyal and Jay decide to fly in at the top. And sadly, this happened. Well, we both knew that we were dead, so we didn't bother to properly fight back. And that's the end of the games. Before I end the video, I just wanted to say that th that my Discord server is soon up and running. Well, it should be up and running by now. I told myself I'd finish it before I made this video. So if this video is out, that means it's definitely up and running. So I'll put a dis I'll put a link in the description 
add my about page which you should definitely shouldn't read and my website which you also definitely shouldn't read anyways thanks for watching please subscribe as it helps me out a lot and I'm trying to catch up with Cyberscope who has got 100 subscribers now oh yeah fun fact I'm actually a Cyberscope's 100 subscriber I resubscribed to him when he got to 99 and I, so I could, I could be as a 100 subscriber anyways thanks for watching see you guys next time don't forget to like subscribe turn on notifications and I'll see you in the next video adios